Hello there, you're watching the New Vision TV and uh, this is the handshake. Now the country needs 6,204 specialized workers in the engineering and uh, management sections of the oil and gas sector. Paul Busharizi, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, why? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> we need about 6,000 you know, specialized workers. What do they mean, specialized workers? Well, um, first of all, the oil industry is, of course, a very, what they call, capital-intensive uh, industry. You won't find people with hoes in the oil industry. Mm -hmm. You know, you just throw your one. So there's specialized equipment, specialized, they're, they're very unique environments in which people have to These operate. are the certified people we're talking about some time ago. Uh, yes, but I'm talking about the environment. Even they're going to be working in, oh, so around okay. these oil rigs and stuff, like, among other places. Okay. That's one thing. Secondly, the, the oil industry is many times, or, uh, as is going to happen in Uganda, is going to be run by foreign entities, foreign companies and what. Mm -hmm. And um, the requirements for the insurers, for example, of these entities is such that they have to have certain things in place. So if you know how insurance works, an insurance, the insurance company will go to great lengths to make sure to mitigate the risk it is insuring against. And one way to do that is to make sure guys are qualified. So mm. for example, mm. you talk about engineers, but yeah. you, there's just as basically as truck drivers. Yes. You're going to need internationally certified truck drivers. There are going to be 2,000 trucks doing, the, doing this, uh, plying the, you know, through the oil industry. 2,000 trucks. Each truck will be manned by three people. That's 6,000, 6, <laughs> uh, re uh, really 6,000 drivers, really. Wow. 6,000 drivers are required, internationally certified drivers. In Uganda today, you'll be lucky if you get 100. So you can already see how much uh, the work is. But the truth, the sad, I don't know if it's a sad thing. Mm. The truth of the matter, whether they find them here or not, mm. the work will be done. So that means they might, oh. they, will leave, they will import people. Right, right. You know, we, we might think, ah, we, we are still taking our time developing this capacity. No, those guys will move. When they'll the time move. comes, they will move. Yes. They will get the guys from wherever they are, Filipinos, Iraqis, wherever, they will bring them. So it's up to us to... Ty what, what are we not doing? Gear up. Well, I, I don't know whether it's... We, a lot of work I'm aware is going on. We, mm. we've, had, we've had some uh, uh, institutions now around that can offer international certificates in mm -hmm. the last two or three years they have, they have developed their capacity to do that. Uh, we have uh, people going abroad to train, uh, but when they say 6,000 specialized engineers, you're not only talking about, so you can be an engineer already, mm -hmm. mechanical engineer for example, or uh, what, hydraulics engineer, whatever, but you still need an additional certification to work in the industry. Oh, in the industry. Thankfully, this, um, many of these certifications are short courses. Oh, uh, yes, you know, yes, they're yes. just upgrades on what you have. On what you have, yeah. A year, maybe 18 months. Mm. So there's still time given that oil now is you know, going to come in after 2021. Um, the other time, there's a time I uh, was talking with uh, Edna here, and she told me that we, there are institutions around that are you know, certifying people. But what is the government doing? Well, the government has, 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 uh, is trying, well, I, I, uh, well, you know, the question is whether they're trying hard <laughs> enough, but they are trying. Yes. Uh, they have, uh, they've tried to put up some institution in uh, Chigumba, I think, the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Petroleum Institute or something like that, Chigumba, UPIC, I think it's called. Uh, but that one also needs to be upgraded in terms of the quality of people, it turns out. They're not internationally certified, but mm. there are other private uh, individuals around uh, uh, looking into that. Mm. But that's something, yeah, you're right, government can be very uh, aggressive, aggressive in, in yeah. terms of, um, you know, maybe, you know, equipping UPIC so that it's able to give this international certification. Absolutely. Mm. And you, you mentioned that whether the 6,000 or so are here or not, they'll move on. Uh, what does that mean for us, for the country? Want that well, really of course, the saddest, the, 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 that, that's a sad thing. If, mm -hmm. if we can't produce the, the, the skill oh, yeah. in time or, or, or during the period, because uh, the, peak, the peak of uh, these human labor activities is probably only about, maybe about two or three years after, uh, no, within the next two or three years or mm -hmm. something. And then after that, the, the oil rigs don't need much human people running around. A lot of it is automated. Uh, 
So in the next three, let's say three, four years, you're going to need uh, these people. Imagine, uh, let's just say I'm French right. and I come here as a, an engineer. One of the things that happens is the Frenchman is go probably going to be paid in France. Oh. He just needs a card. These days you can get your card here and you'll come to the bank, you'll pick out, pick out your money from here. So my money is in France. I, I, the money I spend here is not very much. So it's important that we get enough people, our own people, so that, you know, even if at the bare minimum they are paid in our banks. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it will stimulate the economy. Are, are you sure somebody is working around that in, in, our, in our government? In terms of preventing that happening? Yes, for, um, for making sure that uh, our people, you know... Well, you know, it's part of... It's, part of, um, it's, it's, it's a knee-jerk reaction to think that you can restrain uh, people from doing whatever they want with their money. Mm. If you think about it, the bank you go to bank with is the one where you know you can get your money out quickest. Not the one which is going to keep your money when ah. you can't get it on a Sunday evening. Right, right. So I, I, that's why all the banks have ATMs these days. If you don't have an ATM, guys, the guys are going to turn up. So mm. the same with countries. If I'm going to invest in your country, even if I'm going to invest for the long term, I come to countries where I know I can get out as quickly as possible <laughs> in case of any company. So that's why you leave such things in place. Yeah, yeah. It's, unfortu it's, it's unfortunate, but sometimes the price you have to pay for some of these things. Sure, sure. Uh, it's a knee-jerk reaction. If, if, for example, we had those 6,000 engineers mm. waiting, 12,000 mm. engineers yeah, already yeah. waiting, certified and everything, then you can start putting uh, conditions. Okay, well, it, they might not even arise because <laughs> they're people. You're, they're your own people, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. But you know, wh when you're in a position of weakness, your negotiation capacity is not as good as you like to think. Mm. All right. So we hope to get these people, right? It's not impossible. <laughs> okay. But it's not impossible. We, we have engineers coming through the universities. We've got engineers abroad. Yeah, we've yeah. got so that certification. Unfortunately, and, and maybe that's, that's clearly something government needs to do. Mm. For those six or, 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 or eighteen months or whatever it takes, it can cost you as much as. All your university, university, all your university fees in university today for six months. That's you should. That's how expensive it is. So that's why government also could play a role. You know, maybe it just needs to come bankroll in, yeah. this, underwrite it, or lend people the money to to do these things so they get paid later or something. To be more active in getting people, because people are there. Yeah. It's not that we don't have the base. Huh. The, the base to the base to. But upgrade. with the way the youth fund is working, I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I really uh, don't know. But okay. well, we, I think they need to do something Absolutely, about it. Absolutely, they must. All right. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome.